Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. Guys, we are a few minutes away before Supergirl Season 2, Episode 14, I believe, entitled Homecoming is upon us. Now, I've said this for the most of my reactions to Supergirl, that I personally feel that Supergirl Season 2 has been killing it, and I'm really enjoying what they're doing so far in the season. Now, I've seen some people online complain about the mon -El character, how he's kind of like taking over the show in a sense, where it's a lot of focus on that character. I see why they're doing it, because he is a new character, and he is a major comic book character. A lot of people might not know who he was before he got onto the show, but he is a big character, so it makes sense why they're giving him a lot of attention, and obviously the whole shipping angle with him and Kara. But anyways, I'm really enjoying what they're doing. So without further ado, let's not waste any time, guys. I'm ready. Let's jump into Homecoming. Wait. Wait. Really? That quick? Huh? They got in bed with each other that quick? Oh my god, are you shitting me? She just said don't! I, okay, I can kind of see why people are kind of annoyed at him. I get it. That was totally a dick move. Ooh! Ooh! Marsh Hunter. Yeah! Oh no. We don't see him very often, but I love it. We'll break into it. That ain't gonna work. Oh, shit! Dude, that was fucking awesome! See Marshman Hunter do something besides just punch. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, hey! Oh! Oh shit! Yes, yes! We haven't seen this in season one. It was a flashback too. Yep, tensions building. Sir, as, as a scientist, you, you have to believe in questioning. That's all I was trying to do in there. I'm, I'm sorry if I hurt. I know who you are. And that's it. I know who you are, and I doubt Kara would like the truth. Oh. Oh, the prince thing. The prince of Daxum. That's what it is. He knows. Makes sense. Cadmus probably knows that, too. Hey, the girlfriend. Yep. Yep. I knew it. Something's up. Something is up. I guess you're chosen your side. This is Civil War! Oh, it is. Are you? I'm sorry, friend. I changed. Damn it! Damn it! Shit! Oh my god. No! Damn it. Cyborg Superman! He's the other Cyborg Superman! What? Oh my, everyone was like giving theories and speculation that, that they were, that's what they were gonna do originally. Holy shit! Superman is Cyborg Superman! Oh my god. <laughs> this is fucking crazy! 
Oh, good. Good. Oh shit, he's transferring files to Cadmus. That's what he's doing. Cyborg Superman before we got Cyborg Superman was cool, but then when you actually see it, it kind of fucking sucks. Hey. He took the National Alien Registry. Okay, I'm coming in. Oh, shit. What, what is he doing? Well, I'm going to tell you what he did. Cadmus has a list of all the aliens in the country. What do we do? We get up. We get up. You keep moving. Yeah, we do. Excellent work, Jeff. Uh, fuck. Well, shit. The speculation was true that Jeremiah was going to be returning and it wasn't going to be good. Um, we heard about it like a couple weeks ago that uh, Dean Cain was reprising his role as Jeremiah. He was coming back and um, I'm like, okay, he's with Cadmus for all this time, so he's going to get rescued. Then you started hearing some rumblings and rumors and speculation that, oh, it ain't going to be good. Well, shit, it wasn't good at all. He took the entire alien registry from the DEO, and now Cadmus has it. Shit. Um, and I said my reaction, because I was freaking out because of the enhanced arm, I immediately went Cyborg Superman. Um, now, I, that's probably wrong. Maybe he just has an enhanced arm. I just started screaming it and freaking out because... That was the big speculation when his character was gone and we found out he was in Cadmus. That everyone's like, holy crap, what if they make Superman from the TV show back in the day? What if they make him Cyborg Superman? And once I saw him using that metal arm and he has superpower strength and it's from the arm, I, I immediately went to Cyborg Superman. So <laughs> I'm probably wrong on that, but I'm sticking with it, okay? That's my theory. He's the other Cyborg Superman, even though there's already one on the show. Um, he's the other one in my personal opinion. Uh, but who knows? Maybe there's something maybe there's something more to this than meets the eye, as the kids say. Um, overall, I really did enjoy the episode. Um, I thought that it was awesome seeing, obviously, Dean Kane back, even though the whole twist and all that kind of stuff. A lot of emotional stuff happened in this episode, and Monel uh, obviously was the one that was skeptical, but it makes sense because... It was kind of easy. Like, they've tried so long to find his character, Jeremiah. And they finally see him. And we finally see him in season two and everything. But then, you know, he magically is just found. It's just a little fishy. But uh, Monel was right. Something was wrong. Something was really, really wrong. And, of course, he strikes when there's not that many people around. Uh, but it was really cool to see Marsh Manhunter a lot in this episode compared to the past uh, in the season. Because... We haven't really seen a lot of him. Like, whenever he does transform, it's very few and far between. Uh, but it was more when Miss Martian was around. But it was cool to see him uh, transform into Marsh Manhunter twice in this episode. And it was cool to see him using his um, abilities. Rather than punching, he's actually disappearing and reappearing. It was cool to see that being uh, used in this episode. Um, it was cool to see... I forget the actress's name. Um who was Supergirl in the 1984 film, uh, come back again as the mom. It was cool to see her. It was cool to see the entire family together, even though it wasn't the best, <laughs> even though it didn't end well, at least for now, because, I don't know, something could change. Um, but yeah, we had a lot of uh, mon el Cara stuff in this episode, which, you know, like I've been saying, I'm not a shipper of. I don't ship them. Um, but... 
since they're going this route, it makes sense that they have their ups and downs and they have their fighting. I just, I just feel like, look, if you're going to have a relationship on a show, don't be cliche and have them fight every single fucking episode. You know, if you're going to do this, just make them have little tiffies, but not full blown out fights every fucking episode. Last week we had a full blown out fight. Okay. This week's episode, another fight again. It's just like, stop it. <laughs> have drama and tension within the relationship that doesn't involve them fighting constantly. If they fight again next week, have a full blown out fight next week. I'm going to get even more mad. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? The, the relationship I don't ship as they, that's what the, that's what they, they term it shipping. This relationship that they have on the show, I don't like it, but they're doing it. But, okay, we're doing it, but every every episode they have to fight. They have to have a, a fight. They have to argue and yell at each other every single episode. No, they don't. No, they don't, okay? Um, anyways, I'm rambling a little bit longer than usual, but it is what it is. Uh, but overall, I still enjoyed the episode for what it is as a whole, not looking at single individual scenes or anything. Just as a whole, I really enjoyed it. Emotional, great fight sequences. In that fucking ship at the end. I don't know what is going on with that. But, uh, we'll have to wait and see. So there you have it, guys. That's my reaction. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about tonight's episode. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.